This Use a Play is brought to you by. This is a noon Barbados Today update for Wednesday, July the 9th, 2014. A warm welcome to you. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. The Barbados Association of Medical Practitioners says it won't be silenced when it comes to the protection and safety of patients' health. President of BAMP, Dr. Carlos Chase, tells Barbados Today they take objection to comments in Parliament yesterday by some government ministers who suggested that the association was causing fear with claims of a crisis at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I understand that Monday's press release of course different concern among the general public, but I believe that Barbados have a right to be aware of the truly unprecedented and dangerous levels of shortages that exist. As concerned citizens of a democratic country, we reserve the right to warn Barbadians. We will therefore never retreat to a position of silence when the patient's safety and welfare are at risk. Despite the views expressed in the country in the House of Parliament yesterday, BAM has a single agenda the protection and preservation of the lives of our patients and ensure that doctors pass an environment that allows us to deliver the highest standard of healthcare possible. It is not about individuals or politics, it's about the patient safety and it's all due to doctors to protect our patients. BAM has welcomed the government's announcement that $22 million, meanwhile, will be injected into the hospital within the next 10 days, but it warned that short-term measures would not work. Earlier this week, doctors had warned that there was a shortage of basic and essential supplies and that they would only be performing emergency procedures and surgeries. Meanwhile, opposition leader Mia Motley is adamant that the cash flow problems at the QEH is a serious one, considering that lives are at stake. She contends that the hospital should not be faced with the current financial difficulties since $145 million was allocated to the health facility during last year's budget. Simply suggesting that money could be made available is not the problem. We started the second quarter of the financial year last week, Monday, so that you could not have run out even of the 145 million, far less the supplementary that has been promised. The issue, therefore, cannot be the allocation of money by this parliament alone. It has to be also the management of government's cash flow. In other news now, the government's controversial municipal solid waste tax hits one non-governmental organization, leaving it puzzled. The Barbados Boy Scouts Association says it has received a bill of $15,000 and is expected to come up with the first installment of more than $7,000 by July 28th. Chief Commissioner Dr. Nigel Taylor says the cash-strapped association is clueless about how it will come up with those funds. I don't have a clue. <laughs> $7,000 is a whole set of money for Boy Scouts when in actual fact we don't raise that kind of money. It's going to sadden a lot of people than me already. Some of my people are extremely uh, worried as to what we can do. I mean, the only thing I can do is invoke the subsection under the Act which says try to seek some um, intervention through the minister. Because I am telling you, we cannot find $7,970 to pay in July. It is regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun, power. 
To news from the region now, a Trinidad and Tobago police officer commits suicide after a wanted poster appeared on a television program. According to reports, Constable Christopher Madeira, who was on suspension from the force, died after he ingested a quantity of weedy side. His death came hours after his photo appeared on a television program called Beyond the Tape, labeling him as the first member of the protective services to grace the wall of shame. The program alleged that Madeira was wanted for two charges of misbehaving in public office and failure to appear in court. And finally, on the international scene, tensions along the Gaza Strip escalated today as the Israeli Prime Minister voiced intentions to intensify attacks against the Hamas. The Prime Minister's vow came after more than 45 rocket attacks by Palestinian militants. Reports say since then, the Israeli military has responded with 129 airstrikes in Gaza. And that's our noon update for today, but you can join us again at 6 p.m. for other news. Until then, you can log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper or like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a great day. This news update is brought to you by...